Challenges are a great tool to launch and also to grow your online community. They generate visibility and they also spark participation. In this video tutorial, you'll see how to create and use an online challenge inside your Mighty Networks community. I'm Marcia Chadley with the Creative Life Center, and I'm here to help you increase your impact using the Mighty Networks platform. The example challenge that we're going to look at is inside my public Mighty Network. A public network is one that anybody can look inside using this Explore button. So you don't have to be a member to look around. Someone could be inside looking at my network, go to the Programs page, and they're going to see this challenge right here, Five Days to Happier New Members. They're not logged in. They're not a member yet. You can tell that by this Join Us and or Sign In button. They can still see the challenge. They know it's free. I've created this challenge inside the Mighty Networks course structure, and I've made it a free paid course. That means it's going to have this free sign here as opposed to the, the dollar amount. And it's also publicly available. Anybody can just access it. They can also see more details. So if someone's in here looking at my network, either as a member or not as a member, they'll see this in the programs page, which is Mighty Network Courses. I've renamed that. They can click more details and they'll be taken into the information that I have set up about this challenge, including the benefits, the amount that it's free, and they can access it in this way. So that's if somebody was around already inside my network. Now what I do to actually promote a challenge inside my public network is to copy this URL right here. And that's the link that I'm gonna share with people to get into the challenge. So I'm gonna copy this right now. So I have a new tab open. And I wanna show you what happens when somebody uses that link, the URL that I just copied. So I'm gonna paste it. This is the URL. So this is the same thing that would happen to them if they click this URL in an email I sent to them or if it's in a social media post. Now they're not signed into my network, they're not a member, but they are taken right here to that same Mighty Networks plan, that description plan page that gives them all the information and also gives them access to the program. If someone who's not a member of my network clicks to access, they're gonna be invited to join and walk through the steps of joining, or if it's somebody who's already a member, they can just sign in. So if I click join, you're gonna see you have to enter your name and your password and all those things and get inside. Once someone joins the network or signs in, they'll be able to come to this programs page, see the challenge, see that they've purchased it, and go right in. Here's what it looks like when you first get into this challenge. Now the challenge hasn't started yet, so there's uh, I've set up some initial things for people to read. They can use the get started up here. They can start down here. They'll both go to the same place. I put in information about when the challenge is, what's gonna happen inside the challenge. Tell them what to do to be part of the challenge and that this challenge is part of the bigger network. The next section here is what to do to get ready for the challenge. Give them a few things to think about. And also, I've linked here right into the activity feed and some different questions I'm asking people to become engaged before the challenge even happens. You can see that here if I open up the activity feed. I have some different questions and posts right here. So I'm going to go back to what I've renamed the table of contents to five challenges, and that's where people pop into as soon as they get into the challenge. When I start this challenge, the daily challenge post will be in here in the contents. There'll be a new lesson every day that people will complete and then be able to go into the activity feed and interact with each other. In fact, I already have topics started. Here's the getting ready topic where I have the posts that people are already interacting with. And then we will be having daily posts to interact with in these five challenges. Here's what it looks like for somebody in the midst of doing the challenge during our first week when we're live. 
You can see they've already completed some of the different challenges. There's one new challenge that's been coming out every day, and they've come in to look at their next challenge. So they're going to open that, look through that. They can use the links to interact in the different topic areas with posts I've already created, or add their own posts to ask questions or give their ideas. We've just been looking at the challenge through the computer browser, which is the way that many of us as hosts will interact with and even create the challenge. But most of our participants, many of them will come in from the app. I'm going to show you what the challenge looks like from the Apple iOS phone app. Here's a person who is inside the challenge. The live week of the challenge has been completed, so when they came in, they could see all of the challenges already present and can go through the challenges one at a time at the pace that they want to use. They've already done two challenges. They can either click the top of the screen to open up their next challenge or touch the challenge that opens up the challenge. They can scroll through that. As I've said before, at the bottom of the challenge, I have some a link that will take them to a post where they can interact. They can get some more information, add their own comments in, and they can even share any questions or ideas. And what that link at the bottom does is actually open up the topic for the day. So if I go back, this is that table of contents area for the course, all the different challenges. People can go straight to the activity feed and look at what people have been work, other people have been talking about. You can also go into the topics, which will take them to the getting ready posts and then the different posts for each of the five different challenges. This challenge is set up inside a Mighty Network course. And I wanna give you a peek of what that looks like from the host perspective. So here's my view of the five days challenge. I'm using both the table of contents and the activity feed. The activity feed is turned on and I've renamed the table of contents to be five challenges. I've set things up so that when members enter the challenge, that's where they enter. They don't enter in the activity feed, they enter in the table of contents area and see the different challenges, the ones they've done, the ones they haven't finished. I've turned off commenting on the different lessons, which are here challenges, so that all the interaction happens inside the activity feed. And I chose to do that so that people who are members would actually get more interaction with each other because they'll be notified if they've set up their notifications that way when something new is posted inside the activity feed. And I've used topics to help separate things in the activity feed by the particular day of the challenge, including before the challenge actually starts with the getting ready. So if anyone wants to come in and say what happened on challenge three, they click this topic and they're there. It's very easy to set up your challenge, to add as many days as you want, and to decide how you want people to interact, either in comments on the lessons themselves or in the activity feed. The challenge we've just been looking at was a free challenge inside a public Mighty Network. Makes it pretty easy to send out a URL and get people into the challenge and joining the network. If you have a free paid Mighty Network, it's also fairly easy. You can create an external plan that includes the free membership to your network along with this free challenge. If you don't have a free network, Perhaps you can use a free trial period and then you'll have to follow along with people and either convert them or remove them from the network. If you have a secret or a private Mighty Network, you can reach out to people, let them know you're doing this challenge, and then you'll have to get them into the network in the same way you get other people into your network and help them understand where the challenge is and how to find it. But in other ways, once people are into the challenge, it's the same kind of experience for them. So if you've enjoyed this video, if you'd like to take a look at exactly what my challenge is, you're welcome to come into my Mighty Network, the Creative Life Center neighborhood, look around, find other ideas and inspiration for you as a Mighty Network host.